seems very appropriate that this Sunday we should refer and reflect on the Holy Family. Because I'm sure for most, if not all of you, you've been gathering with your family, whether it's the blood family, the extended family. And how we can always often look forward in joy to that. And then sometimes we find out, oh, there's something from the past we haven't quite dealt with. And it tends to, to, to raise, raise its head and cause us to question. The Holy Family, Mary Joseph, fulfilling what was required of them. Fulfilling what was required of them. And what's required of us is to become the, pe the person we were meant to be through the love and the mercy of God. We can run away from those things that rear their heads at Christmas and other times, but we would be better off if we faced them. Very few in the congregation seem to watch Ritbox. So very few seem to not know keeping up appearances. Any of you seen keeping up appearances? Okay. Poor Mrs. Bouquet. I mean, that tells a lot about her because everybody else calls her Mrs. Bucket. But she tries so desperately to be better than her family. So she lives in Siberia, uh, suburbia. She loves to have candlelit dinners. She likes to influence the members of the community that are most prestigious. And she gets caught every time. Because her family doesn't live in suburbia. They live in a rather simple home. Her brother-in-law sits in his chair drinking beer in his sleeveless shirt. Her sister runs after men, and the vicar especially, but he always runs in the opposite direction. And every episode, she fails. She fails. She wants to be so much better. And I hope we want to be so much better. But we know that we can only become better through the love and the mercy of God. We talk often of grace. We talk about Mary being full of grace. And that grace, God wishes to share with each and every one of us. We all come from a particular family with a killer history. And so I hope that as we enter this new year, we'll look at it, our family of origin, a little more gently, a little more kindly, forgiving those that might have hurt us, who might not have treated us as we would like to have been treated, but to look with mercy the way in which God looks on us. Mercy is a beautiful gift and I hope as we continue the Easter, as we continue the Christmas season, that that mercy will be something we desire more and more. And in desiring it, receiving it, sharing it with one another, and especially those most in need. Please like subscribe or comment below.